Right, so when we start off, we need some sort of securing cord attached to a tree if you're out in the woods or to something else in your house if you're going to do it in your house or garden. Um, just to it doesn't have to be really strong, but you need something to tie on the ring. So, we get the ring and you can start it off, just as I said before, passing a bite through the loop. If you just grab the loop and put it around the ring and pull that tight, just to show you, Let's just do that again for you. Ring, knot, or bite of cord goes through, open it up, push the ring through, pull it through, and that is the knot, guys. And this is a knot you'll be using all the way through this. Just a different technique in tying it. So you just put it at the length you want it. Engage this by when you sit down. You don't want it too far away. But you want to be able to adjust this. Right, so when we got the the adjustment of the ring sorted. You then need to load your needle and I'll show you that now. Right guys, so we've got our plain netting needle and we've got our cord. Basically what you want to do, you just grab a small bite and you're going to be doing this a lot so if you just grab it in that position push the eyelet through or the needle in the middle of the eye You're just pushing that through just hook that over pull it down now what I do is I get this small end this tag end tuck it to the other side and pull that over so then we go under back round to the other side and we push that side and we hook it over and then we do the same again round twist round the other side hook over twist up over twist up over so all you're doing is you're bringing it around there twisting the needle round pushing the needle eye and threading round and we just do that. that. That's how dangerous it is being under chestnuts. See that? Just flew round, that is why I wear, you can see where it hit me there. That is why I wear a hat when I'm in my personal space. There's obviously a few squirrels up there because that's come out of the casing. Dangerous. Right guys, let's just carry on doing this. And you'll see when you get, um, when you've done this for a long time, you'll be able to just do it quick and easy. As long as you get that action, twist, push the eye down, up, twist the eye. Right, so once you've got it loaded and you've got your two foot tag end, you just tuck that out of the way or under your arm or whatever. Get your netting ring and now we're going to tie it on. Let's just move the camera and you'll be able to see. Right guys, all I do to tie mine on is just do two round turns and then two half hitches which is just two simple knots one after another which is nice and secure right guys just going to show you that knot using my paracord on my ridge line to secure to the ring so we go round once 
round twice. All you do is tie normal knots, it's just called a half hitch, just the way that it is. And that is your knot. Right guys, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, it's going to be really awkward filming it, but I want to get as close up as possible for you to see. You obviously see I've got my ring tied on and I've got my twine tied from my needle as I just showed you onto the ring. Next thing you're going to need to bring up is the mesh stick. Now this is the largest one which gives you the largest mesh um, that I use or want to make and what you do is you place that on top of your mesh stick ring or not just touching the top of the mesh stick we then go up the back and through the ring don't pull this tight because that little loop behind you want to go down through that loop and then if you pull that tight to the ring pull the string back to the front and pinch it now you'll be doing a lot of this as this is the same action all the way along and you've got to do this 15 16 times depending on how wide you want your net next thing we do is we go down the front of the net and we come back up and we catch this loop and we pull that tight now that forms if I just pull that out you don't need to do this but I'm just showing you this will form your first loop and that ain't going nowhere it's actually that little um, knot I showed you it's just loop through it's just a different way of tying it so that is it So let's just thread this back on. Get back to where we started. Right. So again, we go up to release this. All you do is you pull it, and it gives you more twine. Go up the back, and the loop that's there, we go down that loop, pull tight, and you pull tight at the back, bring the loop back, this ring back down to the top of the mesh stick and then pull the twine to the front, pinch. We then go down the front again and we catch this loop. So we go down the front, come back, catch this loop and pull tight and then what you do, you just pinch this until you get tight on there. And that's what we're going to keep doing. We're going to come up the back, catching that loop with our finger, passing the needle, pull it tight, and then back round the front. Pinch it down the front, catch this loop, pull it tight. See, we've got three of those. We need to do that another 13, say 11, another 11 to 13 times, depending on how wide you want it. 15, 16, 17, 18 loops on a ring is probably the maximum you're going to get. So uh, let me just get a wider angle on this and show you me carrying it on. Right, guys, just carrying it on then. So come up round the back catch that loop there, pull down, keeping these all nice and neat, then keeps it all the same size, we then bring the twine to the front and we pinch that and hold it and then we're free to do what we want with this. We then go down the front, come back up, catch this loop and as we're pulling it tight keep pinching this let go just as you're going to pull it tight 
and it locks off the knot. So I'm just going to do this now. Okay, so you can see the meshes form in there. I'm just going to finish them off and then we move to the next line. I'll show you how to carry on. Right, let's just carry on. It should look a bit like that. The ring kind of disappears behind as you get to the end. This kind of makes the mesh all the same size. Um, just something that happens uh, when you pull it too tight. Oh no, sorry, when you pull it tight, not too tight. And um, what happens when you pull it too tight is it snaps just like it just did with me. Um, first time it's ever happened to me actually. But there you go, first time for everything. So you just slide that off and you've got your first lot of mesh rings. And if you just separate them all out into their own loops, we carry on. So we ended with the cord on this side. What you want to do is bring it back to the left hand side and we do exactly the same again. Right guys, so as before we start with placing the cord over the mesh stick. You want to come up the back of the first loop and this is going to act as your ring. To do is you're going to bring that first loop snug with the top of the mesh stick. So you got. Let's just show you. It like that. As you loop, you pull it down, and you got that. Next, what we're going to do is if we just move that bit to the side is we're going to go down there with the needle we're going to pull it out and we're going to catch this loop here pull it through and do the same that is our first mesh tied off that is a sheep bend so let's just carry on you have to twist these loops so they're straight. I don't normally just stick my finger through them. So, from that one, down, up the back, and through the next loop. Make sure you catch the one next to the one you've just done. Again, pull it snug. Let me just get a close up for you. So, you've pulled that next loop snug. What we want to do is we go down in between the loops. So, and we catch the loop we just created. When we pull that tight, it's tied off. And that is the mesh is starting to form. Zoom out. So, come down the front, and we want to catch the next loop. Needle through, pull it snug to the mesh stick, and then we're going in between. You see the loop we just pulled down, we're going in between them. If you just keep them together though, so you can get a nice uniform loop. Give yourself a bit more cord, go down between them, up, catch the loop, pull down snug. And that is the mesh is starting to form using a sheet bend. So you just do the next one, go down the back through the loop, 
pull it down snug. Go just to the left of the loop you just come up, through, catch that loop, pull down. Let's just zoom out and you'll see me do some more. Right guys, so we're just carrying it on. Give yourself a bit more twine. Come up through the back of the loop. Pull it snug to the mesh stick and pinch with your thumb. This gives you the free hand to do the rest. You will get a cramp building up on the inside of your hand, so be aware of this. What you can do is make a longer mesh stick I just pinch that there. You can then hold it like this and thumb on it. But with the shorter ones, it means you can take them out with you and it's not going to take up much space. So we've caught the top loop. The needles come up through the back of it and we're going to pull that down snug. We're going to then hold it with our thumb and if you just pull apart the loop, go just to the left of the loop you just come up through, as I've shown you before. And I'm kind of making this video so you can stop the video, go back and you can play it, you can play all the close-ups basically. So we come up through the back of the loop, pull down snug, just to the left, catch the loop and pull down tight. Don't pull this too tight if you're using jute twine. It will break. So we just carry it on now. Right guys, it's inevitable that you will break um, just by pulling too hard, just as I just did. I'm just going to show you how to repair that and um, just to connect and literally it was on just before the one before the end loop which is annoying because it leaves like a um, you can see it in the mesh when it's done when the net's completed uh, so I think the knot's actually gonna hold snug what I'm gonna do is just attach the cord back to the loop let's just show you how to do this right guys so what we do if you just grab the loop it's come off go up round the back and just pull it's actually just effectively what you're you're doing for the whole mesh and pull that snug then you can just cut off this tag end and carry on right guys so once you've loaded your needle up again if you just get cordage and grab where you left off so you've got two knots what you want to do is just create the same again a sheet bend I believe a good way of teaching this is the rabbit comes out of the hole goes round the tree under the line just made and jumps down the hole again um, yeah, that's a good way of teaching it but if you just go up the hole round the back tucked under it'll work just as good all these tag ends as well guys good tip all these tag ends you leave you can turn them into a good tinder bundle shred it up fluff it right up and that makes a really good tinder bundle um, works works great as long as you use hemp or jute twine really really good so now you've got that loaded, you're going to make, turn it round so it's on the left and you're going to carry on. Just grab my mesh stick. You see it starts to get closer and closer so you're going to need to just shorten this and bring it away from yourself. Like so. Open it up, come up through the back pull down snug again you don't pull on this cord here you pull down with the mesh stick just pull that down snug just to the left of it 
make sure all your line stays to the front. Come up, go through the loop and let go. Snug, down to the left of it, come back up through the loop you just made and pull snug. And that's it guys, real, real basic knots to use. And you can make as longer or as wide a net as you want. Um, I will say if you use nylon cord, you will need to double sheet bend the knot here. So if you go pull the loop snug, do one, you will need to go through again and double knot it just above it, just so it holds its knot. And that's only with natural, uh, sorry, not natural, man-made material, so nylons and stuff like that, just to stop it from slipping. But for natural cordage, like hemp, jute twine, stuff like that, one knot is more than sufficient. Right guys, just quickly, I always like to finish off the row of mesh. What's great about net making is you can now leave this as it is. I'll just take it off the ring. Sorry, off the tree where it's tied onto. Once that mesh is tied, you move it to the middle. It doesn't matter how long it is, if you put the twine back on the needle, put the needle with this and you can wrap this around and it can keep as a project to finish or carry on whenever you want. That is perfect. Right guys, so we've finished our net, we've brought the side we've finished to the left again and what we're going to do is be putting on a ring and we do this exactly the same as doing the mesh stick so we get ourselves some line we go down through the top we come up the back of a mesh and we bring the mesh level with the ring Let's see if I can show you that close up Brought that. We then go down the left hand side of the loop. I've actually given myself a bit too much line here. Never mind. And wiggle that through. And then the loop that we made, we want to come through that, same as before, and pull that tight. That's the first not on the ring and then we just want to go back down up catch the mesh ring bring it down to the ring down the left hand side let's just show you that so we're going down the left hand side of it and as you can see the whole time I'm pinching this on the ring we catch the loop we made and bring it down snug so back down catch the next mesh loop bring it snug with the ring go down the left hand side of it in between the two mesh loops and pull it down snug so through catch the next mesh bring that down tight 
down the left-hand side of it, up through the loop, pull snug. And that's what you do for the rest of the mesh loops. And again, I'm going to get a better view, a longer view, and you can oversee what I'm doing. Right, so we're just carrying on down through the ring, up through the loop, pull it snug down to the ring, down to the left hand side of the loop, or the mesh ring, and pull it in snug. Down through the ring, up through the mesh loop. round the back and up through the loop you just made there.